back again with another video. So this is for all my Apple users out there. This is for, and I'm sorry y'all Windows people, I'm sorry for Linux people out there. This is specifically for Mac people out there. So Mac introduced a brand new a feature for Mac OS 18, Sequoia, and iOS 18. And one of the, the, the best things that's out there is anybody can use it. Like this is perfect for anybody. So if you have a MacBook, a Mac Mini, or an uh, iMac, this is perfect for you and you have an iPhone. So I'm sorry, it ain't for, for, ain't for Android people either. So you gotta have, be a part of the whole Apple ecosystem. So with this feature, you're now able to screen mirror onto your desktop. And I'm not talking about what they have with Windows phone link. Phone link is, is great. If you wanna do certain things as far as messaging and make calls and stuff, that's cool. But how Apple seamlessly integrated these two things together between your iPhone and then the your, your, your desktop MacBook, your desktop Mac application, on OS, yo, this is great. And especially for y'all content creators. So once you've updated your operating system to Mac OS Sequoia, you will now see at the bottom of your, you will now see at the bottom of your screen, a new feature called iPhone mirroring. And, but to, in order for it to work, you have to have your iPhone locked. So because I've already set it up, I'm just gonna show you how it looks. So you automatically see the iPhone mirroring on your desktop once you go down to where your applications are stored on the bottom of your screen. And once you click on it, you will see is it says it's trying to connect to your iPhone. Now your iPhone does have to be locked in order for this to work. So nobody can't come through and pick your phone up and see what's going on with it. Once your iPhone is locked and you actually connect your screen mirror on there, you can control this the same way you control your, your iPhone from when you have it in your hands. So it's just both your, your fingers, you can scroll over left and right to look at um, your application that's on your screen. You can open up any of your applications that you have on here. So we can open up our Instagram, things of that nature. I mean, any of your apps that's on here that's not supported directly from your MacBook. You can, once you actually do this too, you actually get notifications in the top corner of your notification bar. So I'm not gonna do it because I have my personal stuff on my personal stuff that's on there. So you can see some of my applications that I do have on my um, on my iPhone, my, my on the, the desktop itself. But also, which makes it even better for content creators is once the feature is introduced later on this year, it's going to allow you to be able to drag and drop between both your desktop and then your iPhone seamlessly without you having to open up your iPhone. So if you're trying to record any form of content and you want to upload it to any of your social media platforms, generally what you would have to do is either edit it on either the phone itself and or your if you like getting more enhanced with it edit it from your actual desktop applications i don't care if you know you're talking about adobe premiere pro or even in CapCut desktop application or in final cut pro and in doing so you have to for it to get to your phone you have to go into your iCloud account store it on your um, files in iCloud and or you know airdrop it to your phone itself and then from your phone pick your phone up and then go into your applications I mean y'all y'all content creators y'all understand this already but to be able to do that now as later on this year once they actually do the drag and drop feature in there you can actually take that, app, that, that video that you've made and then drag it over into your iPhone and from there you can upload it to your social media apps now, even if they haven't done it yet, you still have to, you can still go the original way we're doing it, like uploading it to files. But this time, while you're working, it actually cuts out a workflow. So you don't have to actually pick up your phone and do any of those things from your actual device itself. You can do it from your desktop. So you can just go in there, open files up, download it to your, your photos, like you generally do when you, you, you know, download stuff to your, your actual device itself. And then from there, you can upload it on all your social media platforms without ever having to pick your phone up. So this is something great. I encourage everybody to use it and then while you're doing that so the best thing i can say that you do to even record some of the content that we're doing right now to be do that is using streamlabs so today's video is sponsored by streamlabs if you want a platform that you can use for multi-streaming you have avenues to be able to record podcasts or do interviews type things like you have with zoom forms like that or if you want to be able to quick edit your videos and edit like podcasts quickly and easily software to use is streamlabs and then to sign up for the subscription is streamlabs ultra streamlabs ultra provides you with a multifaceted set of tools to be able to all of your content creations all from the, the piece of your computer and you can also stream while you're on the go everything simplified you can uh like i said be able to multi-stream at the same time so if you're looking to grow your community you're looking for something that's an ease of use you can even change the themes up within the actual stream itself i would recommend 
over everything that's out there is Streamlabs. And then sign up for the subscription, get Streamlabs. Again, sign up using my link below down in the description to a seven day free trial and use Streamlabs Ultra for all your content creation. Once you have all those videos cut up and all those videos edited, and let's say you want to get some, well, you want to get some editing done on this. You want to record the content, and but you need somebody to help out with editing it for you and getting it ready for either your, you know, creating reels and shorts from it. I do that as well too with Engineering Tomorrow. So with Engineering Tomorrow, we help bring all of your vision into fruition. I don't care if it's content creation. I don't care if it's IT training. I don't care if it's, it's data center build out. So with Engineering Tomorrow, we will take all of your content and we will create shorts and reels for you to help out with your advertising across all, the, all your social media platforms. So thank you again, Streamlabs, for sponsoring today's video. And also, thank you to Engineering Tomorrow, my company, to help get all of your content out there and post it on all your social media platforms. So thank y'all for tuning in to this episode. I think this new feature, if you're a Mac user, I'm sorry for y'all Windows people out there, but if you're a Mac user, I think this is a great application that they've added to, or great feature they've added into Mac OS Sequoia that you can use for all of your content creations and or just to cut out you know some of the workflow where you having to pick up a device to do something and even making phone calls so that's one of the features they have out there that i'm excited about some of the other apple intelligent stuff this is like eh, it is you know it's, it's a hit or miss depending on how you use it but this feature the screen mirroring is I think everybody can use that if you have that Mac ESO ecosystem. And I think, especially for, like I said, again, for content creators, it will cut down on some of your workflow without you ever having to touch your device. You can touch it physically, you can touch it virtually from your desktop. So thank y'all again for tuning in this video. Y'all be safe until next time. Peace. You can have whatever you like. You can have whatever you like. When the, when the, when the beat goes off, we